vision from God to do a ministry wasn't like all the others out there. He was a biker that got set free. Well, I came out of a, the biker culture, as you know, and uh, when I got saved in '71 and. Probably in 74, we started going into prisons. 1974, we've been going into prisons ever since. I've gone to prisons from Moscow to San Quentin, most of them several times. And and now in this stage in our life, we're sort of uh, being an apostle or whatever to a lot of prison ministries around the world, from Africa, Europe, America. Yeah, that's just what we do. Here he comes walking in a Sunday service. All eyes were on his leather. Some said that he needed to get saved. Little did you know he wouldn't be speaking today about the brotherhood of bikers. God began to speak through him, convicting them of all their sins. They didn't want him back again. So he went on his way, the burden in his heart was heavy every day, thinking about the bikers that went astray. Nothing is more important or more primary than just spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ to a hurting and dying world out there. Um, you know, I know where I came from, I know where most of these guys came from, and this is, this is serious, this is a matter of life and death. Now, we love the humor, we love the camaraderie, we love the fellowship. We love getting together and riding. We really love getting together and eating. But when it comes down to it, this is a very, very serious, serious uh, issue. And like I said, it's a dying world out there, and, and Jesus Christ is the only hope they have. But I'm Jesus Christ, motorcycle ministry, taking care of the bikers. Some judge rather not see. Great is his reward. Well, when I heard about Circuit Riders Motorcycle Ministry, <clears throat> something inside me just leaped because I was always kind of interested. Well, it was the Spirit of God that was moving in me. And it was just awesome because I've heard of different Christian organizations and motorcycles, but nothing ever fazed me. But God's timing is the perfect timing, and my spirit just leaped, and he gave me a, he gave me a vision of the St. Croix River Valley and all the bikers that go up and down there, up by where we live. And God just showed me that there are people searching for something, but they're searching for the wrong thing. And that they got to be searching for, they're, they're, they're wanting something, they're desiring something to fill that void. They're looking for some wild times. Well, I've had more wild times and blessed times in Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior in this motorcycle ministry. He got a vision from God to do a ministry. Wasn't like all the others out there. He was a biker that got set free. Here he comes walking in a Sunday service. All eyes were on his leather. 
song saying that it needed to get saved. Little did you know he wouldn't be speaking today about the brotherhood of bikers. But I got saved in prison and got filled with the Holy Ghost and. Um, I prayed for a miracle from God, and that's what happened. I ended up only serving five months and got, got released. And I've, I've got a Christian husband now, and I've got um, custody back of all my children, and God's really worked well in our life, and we're just thankful. God began to speak through him, convicting them of all their sins. They didn't want him back again. So he went. On his way, the burden in his heart was heavy every day, thinking about the bikers that began to stray. Brotherhood of Jesus Christ, motorcycle ministry, taking care of the bikers, some church rather not see. Great is his reward in heaven, yeah. Great, this is real. 